There's a desperate search happening right now. Over the last two days, Lone Oak County deputies have been looking for a man they say should be considered armed and dangerous. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Stephanie Sharp. Donna and Kevin have the evening off. The Lone Oak County Sheriff's Department has been on the ground looking for Crone Armstrong. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy alongside with those deputies today as they search for him. Mitch, what happened? You know, Steph, this is really an all-hands-on-deck search for this individual law enforcement, including prison tracking dogs and drones have been in the area near Highway 31. Tonight, a warning to anyone in that area to be on the lookout saying Armstrong could do anything to get away from deputies. With dogs and SUVs, law enforcement say they are prepared for whatever to bring Sean Armstrong into custody. He'll fight law enforcement to keep from going to jail, yes. Leonard County Sheriff's Captain David Bufford says Armstrong was in the back seat of his girlfriend's car Thursday, ramming the sheriff's truck before taking them on a pursuit. Oh, Captain Bufford says Armstrong also has outstanding warrants. He's got a, a very extensive criminal history. Uh, some violent. This is day two of searching after solid tips came into investigators that Armstrong was in the area off Fairview Road near Highway 31. Thursday search came close to a capture, but Armstrong managed to get away. And he's gotten very good at, at uh, eluding the prison dogs. Um, we, we catch him when, when he makes a mistake. Deputies say this is like deja vu. We get him, we put him in jail, he goes to prison for a couple months and keeps getting paroled out. And as soon as he's paroled out, here we are chasing him again. As the hunt for Armstrong zeroes in, deputies say their target is running out of places and friends to go to. We know that they're attempting to help him. And when we find out that they are helping him, they'll go to jail with him. The clock is ticking. Deputies say they chased Armstrong two or three times a year. They say there has been past allegations of violence, but his alleged victim has never wanted to pursue charges. It goes without saying if you see him, call 911. And deputies say do not approach him because, Stephanie, like we mentioned time and time again, he could be armed and dangerous. If people need an another look at this individual, just go to fox16.com. Absolutely. So, yeah, if you see him, call please immediately. Absolutely. Do those tracking dogs were they able to comb up anything did they smell anything were they on the hunt what happened yesterday they had a really good strong what they refer to as a track on Armstrong today. They said this guy is so smart when it comes to avoiding tracking dogs. He knows how to elude them. He knows what to do, places to walk to. This is the individual right here. Exactly how to elude these tracking dogs, throw off their sniff. Uh, and they said that they were he was able to successfully do that again today. All right, well, hopefully they'll find him very soon. Absolutely. He can't run for long. All nope. right, Mitch, thanks He's so much. He's running out of friends. <laughs> That's true.